everyone, it's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel. I know, I know, before you attack me, I know I promised to have this video up Saturday and it is now Monday afternoon, so it probably either won't go up until Monday night or Tuesday. But I am finally here with the eco lifestyle Q&A that I promised you with a few more tweets than anticipated because of course there has been some new stuff since I last planned to make this video. A quick shout out to Sims Community for organizing all of these tweets. I was trying to look for them, but Hoven, of course, organized them very thoroughly on his website. Without further ado, let's jump right on into the tweet. So on May 6th, Frost tweets, so like, do we keep yelling, where's university, even though it came out, or? <laughs> and Aaron replied, hey Frost, I'm sorry people are hating on this pack so early. It looks like it will be a lot of fun. Also, it's great you guys are doing something new and different in game. I know the envy elements have been done before, but I love the eco theme. It's really cool. And Frost replies, happy you're excited about just as much as we are. While the reveal trailer is excellently made, we def have a lot more to show with our live stream coming later this month and gameplay trailer coming soon-ish. Oh, okay. So if the live stream's coming at the end of the month and the gameplay trailer's coming soon-ish, that probably means that's coming before the end of the month as well. I'm thinking maybe in a week or two for that, but I could be wrong. That's just speculation. When do you guys think we might see the gameplay trailer? Sunflower responds to Frost's tweet, y'all not telling us how many lots because there are probably only like five. And Frost responds, we'll have lots of lots for you lot. And Sunflower responds, I'm hoping. I want this pack, but only for candle making and a new world. So I'm going to get on sale. Hopefully that will be soon. Also, is there ever a chance for Creator World? And I know he didn't respond to that, but Creator World would melt my little heart. I don't think that's ever going to be coming just because of the way that The Sims 4 is made, I doubt that that's ever going to be a possibility with this one. I know I sound like Debbie Downer, but it's just realistic. Also, as far as this new expansion pack going on sale, it's going to be a while. New expansion packs normally don't go on sale right away. I think The Sims 4 Discover University went on sale for the first time, like what, three or four months after it was released? I could be wrong. It could have been earlier than that, but it was a hot minute, if I remember correctly. Alan responds to Frost tweet. Love university. Also, are those preserves and nectar making that I spy? Are they their own separate skill? I am really loving the creative pursuits included with this pack. Marissa responds, dude, I miss nectar making so much. Drunk Sims are my happy place. And yes, I agree with that. Frost responds, I foresee a couple things already you're going to enjoy. He he. Oh, so maybe nectar making is a thing. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I guess we will find out soon. Hopefully in that uh, live stream that they're talking about is coming at the end of the month. Actually, I lied. Hopefully we see that in the gameplay trailer coming soon-ish. How would you guys feel about nectar making in The Sims? Would you want something like that back? I loved that. Oh my gosh. Oop Oliver tweets, Sim Guru George, will the ladders come in a free base game update? And Sim Guru George responds, ladders will be a base game Game update coming at launch. Eco lifestyle will come with an additional variant. There we go. So with the people saying, I'm only buying this pack for the ladders. That's the only thing from this that I want. Well, guess what? Now you actually don't have to buy the pack at all because ladders are coming with the free base game patch update coming before the expansion pack. And if you get the expansion pack, then you're just going to get an additional variant of said ladders. The community seems generally happy about this. And I feel like if they would have made ladders exclusive to the pack, there would have been some bigger problems. Oop Oliver replies, thanks so much. And Lil Dark B kind responds, guess we're not going to buy it then. <laughs> <laughs> An Eater on Twitter tweets Frost, George, and Jill will have missions like Strangerville and Eco Living Expansion Pack. And Sim Guru George responds, No, there are no Strangerville type missions or mystery. We will be doing a live stream before launch to share all the details. Interesting. Jordan Ashley responds to George, Was that death by flies in the trailer? And Sim Guru George responds that Sim wasn't having the best day. Jordan then responds, I'm going to go with yes and possibly face disappointment later on. <laughs> 
Daisy Hill responds to George, do we have a date for the live stream? Don't want to miss it. And George responds, nothing official yet, but we will announce as soon as that is locked in. Make sure to follow me, The Sims, and Frost for that announcement. Yeah, hope that's soon. Susu tweets Sim Guru George, can we use the ladders inside of homes? And George responds, ladder placement is your choice. It is up to you if you want to build them inside so you can use them in or outside, which is what I expected. Frost responded to a tweet by Renegade Kitty, which was previously deleted. Will this pack be including any new traits and aspirations, harvestables and recipes? And Frost says, yup, yup. So lots of new stuff is expected with this pack. And I'm excited because at the end of the day, it is an expansion pack and it is going to be priced at 40 US dollars. So it better have a lot of stuff with it. Cheeky Bits on Twitter tweets, SimGuru George, is there new skills and or lot traits? George responds, all kinds of fun bits I get to go over in the live stream. Of course, not revealing any specifics, but we will know in no time. Pamtastic721 on Twitter tweets, SimGuru George, when George, when? Let me check my calendar and George responds, on, Simguru Frost is getting this all set up for the future. Let's put him in the cone of silence so he can get it all organized quickly. Minty Cream on Twitter tweets, which species of worm are the ones of eco lifestyle based on Simguru Ninja? I'm concerned. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm probably going to say it wrong because I say everything wrong and I'm not going to look it up because I want you guys to laugh at me if I say it wrong. But is it Sago Grubs? But that's the species of worm that's in the new expansion pack. Nicole responds to George, the real question. Did you try eating Sago Grub for research during development? And Dave responds, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Simguru George tweets, due to its rising fandom, I think the grub from The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle needs a name. What would you name a grub? Grubberson? Grubadub Dub? Grubbles? Frank? Fumblina123 responds to George, we can name the worm before we have it, but we cannot name cow plants. Hashtag justice for cow plants. And George responds and clears this up. You can't name the worm in game. You name it in your heart. Why would they tease naming it if you can't name it in your game? That's what I want to know, but I mean, whatever. I, I guess they were just joking around on Twitter. <laughs> Nando Sims tweets, Sim Guru Bat, can you tell us if the community space lots slash shared lots are actual lot types that we can set in other worlds too? And Sim Guru Font responds, the new community spaces lot can absolutely be set in other worlds. We'll talk more about it with Sim Guru George this live stream for eco lifestyle okay so we don't know too much about this pack yet but it's actually going to be a lot deeper than we think definitely especially after finding out that the pollution and the effects of this expansion pack can affect other worlds and you do have the ability to turn that off and we'll talk about that in the next couple of tweets coming up here i want to share this gift with you this was posted on twitter actually no it was i think posted on like giphy or something and then someone discovered it and then posted on twitter and then i think ninja posted it i'm not sure of the exact order or who posted it or who posted what but this appeared on the internet and it is a gif of a sim cutting meat off of a meat wall. So I am starting to think that with this pack, they're going to introduce the ability to grow meat. That is interesting. An interesting, interesting concept that I want to know your opinion of. How do you feel about this? It's strange, but seems pretty cool. Mary Blakely Johnson tweeted on May 8th and I have covered this tweet earlier, but there are additional tweets to this that I have not covered. So I figured that I would throw this in just to reiterate it for you guys or in case you didn't watch my past couple of eco lifestyle update videos but mary blakely johnson tweets oh yay will the pollution affect other worlds as well frost quotes her tweet tweeting yes during our live stream later this month we will show off the gameplay that affects the world of evergreen harbor and every other world you own except destination worlds and strangerville curious to see how that works and i don't know why but i really feel like this is going to be one of the those few expansion packs that we get that's actually going to expand the game like it really seems like it's going to have an effect with other worlds and possibly other packs and we haven't really had that since like what seasons but up next now i did not include this tweet last time because this was tweeted later on in the night but Haley marie tweets please for the love of plum bob tell me there's an option to turn that off canceling my pre-order if not i don't want this touching my other worlds they already have specific storylines i've spent years curating for Frost quotes Haley's tweet, tweeting, there is a game option that pauses eco footprint effects from happening like many other packs, specific 
game options. This is set per save. Good. I like how they're giving us that option. Oh my God, if they were forcing this on us, I would definitely be worried about installing this pack too. He continues to tweet also, please give SimGuru font some love. He's been verifying answers for me. All right, guys, that's going to conclude things. I want you to share your thoughts and opinions of this expansion pack so far down in the comment section below. And I know you guys already have had an opinion, especially after watching the reveal trailer. And now after some of the new information we have during this Q&A session, let me know what you think. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Of course, if you enjoyed, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube. Subscribe to become a supporter today and ding the bell next to it to receive notifications. Why not be a part of a notification squad? You can follow me on social media that includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more links are down below. And there is a link to my merch store down below. 100% of merch revenue will be donated to COVID-19 relief from now until the end of 2020. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. So long.